Okay, uh, before we go for call to order here, um, we're going to be having uh, a very big open forum regarding some things uh, with Matt here, and this was going to be brought up around between 8 and 9, so this needs to be brought up, but I know we're, we're behind, but... But, um, so, um, let's start with John, uh, we can get there, go ahead. So I have to ask, given your recent antics, so to speak, online, how can you stick within the platform and yet call for it being okay to kill anybody who's a racist or what was the other? Oh, bigots, uh, yeah, sexist. Racist, bigots, bigots second, sexist, sexist, uh, I mean, basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to, one, I'm trying to combat what I see is, is a pretty toxic element in the party, which is uh, this, this racism apologism. Uh, basically, like, uh, one, we get actual races. There, um, we, there's and plenty. There, there lies the issue, obviously. Yeah, and and so that that's a huge issue. But the other issue is how many people are complacent with it. And, and uh, when we talk about like free market, uh, you know, a, a free society. To to me, that means it has to, to be liberty for all. So I don't buy into the uh, freedom of association the way it's portrayed. I think freedom of association means that you're able to withdraw from from collectives you're able to take your consent away and go i'm not part of that group i'm an individual treat me as an individual uh so racism is inherently against that um you're putting somebody in a collective whether they want to be or not and you're going to base your interactions off this you're uh, you're going to deny them you know uh free access to the market it's not really a free market anymore it's a, it's a privileged market it's not for everybody uh, and there's a number of ways we could we could deal with that for sure, um, but to me it's got to get brought up. And and by me going to these extremes, I mean one, not not only am, am I you know passionate about anti-racism, uh, but also I'm kind of speaking to my what I view as my constituents. Well, what I view as as the side of the aisle that I've kind of tapped into that I think I have a real in with, that I, that I can bring them into the party, but it's going to take a lot for, for these ideas to be accepted. So what I do is I go to that extreme, it, it shifts that over to the window, and the moderate ones are now able to kind of say their views a little bit higher. And they don't get viewed as, you know, virtue signaling, like they already know the extreme now, the moderate is able to kind of come up and and make sense of it all. Okay. Now, I have to ask, obviously, do you condone the actions with which you speak, though? Uh, I mean, honestly, yeah, I, I do kind of believe that. Like, if you're going to take rights, if you're going to take liberty from somebody else, uh, you don't really deserve that same respect back. Uh, I, I think, you know, I'm an individual, I'm not just going to go out and hunt down racists. Uh, and that's, you know that's what, what I mean? I'm asking, because essentially that's what it's taken as. It's, it's, Absolutely okay. Let's just say that there's a KKK rally to go in there and destroy everybody with a machine gun. I mean, like to me right now, the state, it's it's doing what we as a society should be doing. It's it's making the market free. It's giving more people liberty. And granted, it's got a whole lot of drawbacks, and that's what we don't like because we don't like those drawbacks. Right. So somehow, some way, and I don't think just you know boycotting it's going to be enough because that's not going to maintain the control that, that having a, a space of land does, a uh, space within the market does, and especially if that market's filled with people with these views, you're gonna have a very restricted market for the minorities. So to me, there has to be more than just that boycott, there has to be some actual fear that you're not going to be accepted in society, you're going to have people that want, that want to hurt you because you are trying to hurt other people. So. You, to me, you don't really get those rights. I mean, you, you don't, you don't get your you. property rights, you don't get your personal rights because you're trying to take that from others. Not above Matt's head. <laughs> <laughs> <Well fought. laughs>
Pokemon. <laughs> Any living flies uh, have been burned to a crisp, but uh, continue that. We had to pay extra for that. <laughs> <laughs> we had to pay extra for that. Um, so, I guess, and you know me, I, I am very open to any kind of school of thought. But I guess my biggest issue that I've taken with the things that have been set up as of late is that you're a call for violence, which is a drug violation of the NAP as far as I'm concerned. Def defensive violence is all right. And I, but I it's see not it defensive. As defense. You are not combating an equal action. I think it is. Uh, because, one, their actions are hurting a whole demographic. How do words hurt? Well, again, it's not just words. You're restricting access. You're, you're denying li liberty and equal treatment. It's so not they're just words. And, and really, that's like, is there to me, that's such a like, ah, like, it's not just words. Like, right, people haven't been marching in the streets over words. You know what I mean? Like, oh, this, I understand. This seriously I affects agree. people's lives. Believe me, I've like, received racist comments myself. But at the end of the day, it doesn't beget violence. And I'm speaking as a minority. I've actually endured these things. It does not equal violence. I, I think it's individual. I think there's gonna be individual cases and I think some cases, I don't see violence being out of the question. I, I think that there really needs to be a societal fair. And, and you know what, you know what is a thought crime is actual thoughts. So that's why speech is action, preventing free flow is action. Like keep your thoughts to yourself and I prefer you to feel shame. I prefer you to be afraid. I prefer you to stay in your house and yell racist shit at your cats. You shouldn't be doing it in public. No, of course not. And that's why the public should be the ones condemning it. But violence is not the answer to that. That's my issue. Was there, was there a call to violence? I've, I've never said like, I'm going quote, to go out and kill people. Like you never my, said that you weren't personally going to do it, but you did say. But my arguments are always, if there's no state and there's nobody helping these people have liberty, that then there shouldn't be a state protecting them from me either. And that's my point, is that it, well, if we're going to be- Self-defense is self-defense is self-defense. And uh, calling for things is just speech. And that's right. obviously okay. <clears throat> the speech is okay. Any kind of speech is okay, but but actual violence is when when the line is crossed, the exactly. line of the sand is crossed. And actual violence of, of attacking something. Preemptive war is the wrong thing. Defensive war, defending yourself or defending others. Correct. Is is uh so, well, I mean, let, let's face I, it, I too, like, right, right I, I now, stuff, so like, right now, know. we have That's a state, so, so in, in right. terms of today, well, I, uh, I mean, look at the systemic racism throughout our, our legal system, throughout our court system, throughout, you know, I mean, everything, it's, it's built into the system, and it's sustained by these ideas, by these thoughts, so it's not just thought crimes, I mean, people are getting hurt by these ideas, people are voting these ideas in the office, have other people do it for them. You know what I mean? So they're not innocent, as far as I'm concerned. So, by your logic then, somebody who voted for, let's just say a sheriff, that person then deserves violence. You know, I mean, do they deserve it? Fuck yeah, they do, but I'm they not gonna do it. They don't deserve it. Yes, they do. Fuck that. They're killing people, ruining people's lives, locking them in cages. They absolutely deserve it. Does the perpetrator the deserve votes, it? The person that votes for the sheriff? Does the that's what whole person that votes for the sheriff? That's what the Nazis deserve. Oh, 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 I thought you were talking yeah, about the sheriff. sheriff. No, the sheriff yeah. obviously deserves well, a course of action. Well, we're talking about the indirect action that's that led to the election of the, of the sheriff. Well, I, I think they do well, share some responsibility, idiots? but again, I think it's an individual case. Yeah. What? Should they be called idiots and assholes? Of course. Should they be made fun of? Should they be threatened? <laughs> Have they been killed? What are we talking about here? Uh, has Matt killed, killed a person uh, or hurt <laughs> somebody? He's oh, talking about a call. As far as we know, he has. And, and you're right. I'm, I, I, you're right. I'm, I'm, it's that damn black mask that well, he's got. I can't I'm ever figure out if it's him or not. Going into a logical fallacy, <laughs> I'm, I'm going down a slippery slope. So you're right. I'm sorry. 
But back to the uh, original point. Anybody else have anything that they would like to ask Matt? Well, I, uh, I, I do want to point out something here. Um, the, the, the point that Matt's trying to make here, I understand where he's, uh, where he's going with it. I don't necessarily agree with doing violence to a sheriff or to a government agent unless they're doing violence to me first. Okay, hey, when don't they? <laughs> okay. Now, yeah, but you know something? And, and my, again, mom, saying, my mom God, worked for the U.S. Are, government yeah, for many years. I've had guns pulled on me. They're okay. My mom me. worked for the U.S. government. She worked for the Department of Defense. Uh, does she deserve to get shot because... Well, she supported the military. She supported, you know, um, the, uh, the government. The whole, you know, I mean, you know, at some point, where do we draw the line here? And that, and, I guess my entire and and that's the point the there. Here's the here's the issue right at hand. Uh, at what point does um, How about three fucking trillion dollars? I Can understand that. The fucking point. I I get that. I get that. Jesus Christ! The largest incarcerated population in human history. I can we say maybe? Hey, it's not a good fucking idea. It's not a well, it, Jesus we saying, Christ! We are saying that. We are not absolutely saying that. We aren't saying that. So here's the fucking line. Which side of it are you on? Okay, it's, here is. I'm fucking sick and tired of playing games with goddamn white nationalists and. Trying to convince fucking Trump voters to be good liberals. Hey, I didn't vote for Trump, so don't put me in that category here. Fucking assholes. Okay. But you understand why I'm begging you the question, do you not? Because it's fucking goofy. I don't think we can expect people or promote people thinking for themselves running with this kind of narrative though. If we're, if we're trying to control speech and say, well, we don't think people can think for themselves and decide that Matt's not an asshole, so let's just try and shut that. <laughs> I'm perfectly right? fine with that. I'm not attempting to censure by any means. I'm just asking no. questions. I know, but... Well, uh, I, I did see a thing that somebody was trying to censor. Somebody is trying to, yes. And yeah. Well, we're not. It's screwed yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly. No, I know. Mike, Mike wanted me to address it. And then, you know, it's, it's a controversy. I'm sure people got questions, so I'm, I'm happy. And that's why, yeah, I, I'm sorry if I'm like putting you on edge or yeah. anything. No, but... no, it's all good. Yeah. My bigger concern about any of that type of language is the one important aspect. And this gets lost because we're in such a pursuit of justice that if you, it's essentially if you give a mouse a cookie, if you allow even just one person to be you know, taken to the streets and beaten, destroyed because they are, uh, they have been outed as a racist or anything like that. What is to say though, that a, an, a person who's not a racist can be accused of such in the sim, same manner as the Salem witch trials. And slippery we say, slope, we're talking it's about. a slippery and we, slope. And we That's do say, <clears throat> if it's okay for us to take the law into our own hands and to destroy someone's credibility or even their lives, then what's to say if we just do it to someone okay, we don't like? Here's the point. Guilty? Here's the point that Ben doesn't even think about, and no one has ever thought about. At what point, you know, um, if let's say that we do use violence against the state, even though we can just categorically say that they've done violence to us, they do violence to us every day. That's true in so many different ways. Correct. All right. At what point do we become no different from the state? You become the state. And, that, and, and we can become the state. Issue. At what point? At what point? Because it's all human nature. At some point, when you take away the judicial, judicial element, and you are playing judge, jury, and executioner, at what point are we not any different? Twenty trillion dollars. That's the fucking <laughs> point. Well, the real, the real, the real aspect is, God damn it! If it ain't about money and fucking power, I'm. Not talking about power or money. I'm simply talking about human nature. If if you were to take when you system, control an entire fucking civilization, and you decide who gets to live and die and what under what circumstances, you're the asshole. That's so, the point at which you are the bad is guy. How to decide what happens to everyone? No. 
Do you understand my point, Ben, or no? No, I do. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm not saying that you're wrong, and I'm not saying that the state hasn't perpetrated crimes against humanity by any means. My point is, at what point are we simply Thank you. being the state ourselves, essentially? When we have them by the throat. <laughs> okay, so then we have them by the throat. Then what? Well, that's, I mean, hopefully oh, we make you. better decisions than what they did. I don't want power. I don't want to take things from people or hurt anyone. Nor do I. But Nor I'm do I. to put a goddamn end to it, and I'm going to listen to the people that are getting shit on constantly by it. It's time to fucking stop pretending like we're some goddamn Christian conservative bullshit capitalist loving. <laughs> I'm not one of those things. I don't know. Uh, uh, John's none of those things. I have recovered from those things. <laughs> he has recovered from those things. <laughs> I don't know how about. We're portrayed. That's how we are portrayed, though. And that's that's how everyone we don't sees us. Yeah. Fake yeah. ass yeah. fucking conservatives. Sees who? Sees who? Who's us? Just the Libertarian Party in general. Well, that's, that's, as that's, that's, Republican in, life. Yeah, we're not going to yeah. make any waves until we start. Fucking millions of people are begging for help, and we're told, well, the economics, if you just try harder. Fuck you. Work for yourself. God damn, man. Work for yourself. Yes, do those things. But yeah, fuck yeah. anybody that gets in your way. Especially a bank. Especially a fucking politician. Jesus Christ, man. I'm sick of fucking apologizing for fucking assholes that don't want culture to change. Hey, I want culture to yeah, change. I, I realize I'm going to the extreme. Yeah, um, at the same time, I, I mean, I, I am an extreme person. I, I, I like. Here's the point the that ass, here's the point that Dave Smith said on the Joe Rogan show, okay, and he was mainly talking about the left. He's not a right wing apologist. He's not um, a liberal by any chance. He's an anarcho capitalist. He wants the state gone completely. <laughs> by any means necessary. The point he made was, you know, uh, people have, people, um, we, he said, we all have it so good for far so long that people, that, that the left, mainly the people, um, have been removed the fact that we all can just lose it. And he's fucking right. Lose what? Oh. Lose what? Control? Lose our freedoms. Yeah. Yeah. And, we've, and we're already down that shithole. We're already down that goddamn rabbit hole. But. <clears throat> so, I mean, right now, there, there is, and I, I think I told you guys before, there's that Libertarian Socialist Caucus of the DSA. Right, and that I mean, that's really been my main target, and it's not just like uh, it's not just fake. I, I I learned these things throughout the period of liking Gary Johnson, joining this affiliate, and going through the Libertarian Party and everything. So I I identify a lot with it, and I identify a lot with the people, and this is what they believe. You know what I mean? This is so that's why I say part of it is just me trying to be their voice in the party, and by doing that, I'm hoping to. Bridge. Bridge that gap. And and like I said, I went to the DSA meeting uh, last Saturday. It was awesome. It was great. Um, it was it was an hour of business and an hour of workshop. And they split into like all their different little affiliate chair or committees, you know? And you go bounce to, to committee to committee and see what they're working on, and, you know, help out whatever. So I, I talked to the reform committee and it was great. You know, I, I, they don't have a Libertarian Socialist Caucus in, in Detroit actually. So I, I, I told him, you know, he was talking about caucuses. I was like, well, why don't we start a Libertarian Socialist Caucus? Yeah, let's do it, you know? And they were actually excited to hear about the party from, from me, anyways, in my version of, of the party. And I think that's important. And one of the reasons that I liked Gary Johnson was that he was that compromise candidate. There was a little bit for everybody, and he wasn't perfect by no means. And everybody had beef with him for one thing or another. Uh, but he was that, that compromise. Um, after that, uh, I felt kind of isolated in the party. It was very, very right heavy. And all of a sudden, it's like, you know, any little bit of 
hey, maybe your dad was a little bit racist. Oh, you're left as blah, blah, you know what I mean? So it's like, I got pushed over that way, and I found these people, and I think that I think it's a fit, and I think it's something that we need, at least on the local level, is these two different ideologies, these two different personality types, because there's a totally different personality between, you know, the typical right libertarian and a leftist in the DSA. Um, but th this is our community. This is who we got to figure these things out with. If we ever want to self-govern, this is how we do it. We got to bridge these ideas, and we're not going to agree, and we're going to find parts of each other's ideologies repulsive. Uh, but at the same point, look, look how we can get together here. Um, you know, we'll go through our agenda. We're going to agree on, like, pretty much everything, especially on the local level politics. It's, it's hard to disagree. Uh, of course. On a personal level, just going, well, yeah, that's bullshit. <laughs> you know? Of course, but... Like I said, my, my biggest issue is the call to violence without violence being called upon. That, that essentially says, I've been called a sand nigger. I could go kill that person by your logic. I, I did it every day for I six mean, months and tortured you to shit. Maybe you might be justified in it and I mean, get a lesser sentence. That's the thing, is it? I mean, it, that's it, a different scenario. I, they I don't, they I, everything's me, a different scenario. But they torture me, there and by, they have brought violence upon me. Therefore, I can defend myself. Words... Everything is subjective. No, you know, if, if, you call somebody, if you call somebody a sand nigger and get killed, I'm not feeling bad for you, dude. I like, don't feel uh, bad for like, you. I'm not but feeling bad for you. So and, you know, maybe it was, of a maybe it was out of hand. Uh, I'm just saying that, you know what? There's consequences to being an asshole in society. And, and you know what? The state, all these libertarians that want free from race, free, free roam racism, the state is what protects them from people... Right. That I'm representing, no. that would definitely take it in their hands, and I can't. I I got too much to lose to try to kill a racist. Let's bring back the gentleman's duel. I mean, right. Right. <laughs> seriously, right. there, there needs to be. If we're going to have a stateless society, there needs to be a serious call against racism. One that one that's more threatening than just we're not, we're not gonna fuck around with you, and then black people got to carry around a separate map of the U.S. so they know where to get gas. You know what I mean? Like it just doesn't make sense. But once again, you're, you're hitting that slippery slope where you're saying, okay, so if one person is racist, everybody's going to be racist, and all black people are segregated. Oh, no, That's no. not true. We have a community. But you're going to have pockets. You know what I mean? You're, well, fuck those pockets. Those, those pockets. pockets then go into economic discourse, and they don't have a fucking thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They don't, though. Yeah, no, they, they turn people into property, and then, you know what I mean? That's, that's the whole point of racism, is that they're lesser beings, and you got a higher right, and anybody, you know what I mean? That's the whole point, is demoralizing, dehumanizing. Both major parties don't give a fuck about the average person in this we're country. Not, we're not the major parties. Okay. So, they, and they, they never have, no. and they never will. Does they anybody else have any you. questions they, or anything, any statements? Well, they have a we fucking have? strange way of showing it then. It's artificial business. Exactly all you can expect somebody to manipulate people. That's what they do. Or do we want to, uh, so technically we're supposed to be starting our, our meeting right now. I, uh, um, but we want to take a short break before doing so. Well, why don't yeah, we, how about this? Why don't we take a 15 minute break or 10, 10 minutes, minutes, 10, 10, minutes, minutes. 10 minutes, 10 minutes is fine. And then we'll come back and we'll just address begin our normal business. Address our business. All right. It's a balloon. So we did already. Yeah. So. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Oh yeah. So right now, <laughs> welcome to the Libertarians of Macomb County group. Everybody, thank you for attending. Unfortunately, Mike uh, is not coming today. So I'm taking. I'm assuming chair duties for the night. Okay. So uh, let's see here. Let's do a roll call. Um, I got everybody. We got ten in attendance. If we're not counting, what's your son's name? Benjamin. Benjamin. Junior. Yeah. Okay. Nope. No. Okay. Could be. Could be. <laughs> Fred. Here. Here. Tim. Down here. John. Fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dave. Yeah, I'm here. 
Mike, Nikki, and Kat, and Ben. And who might you be? No, I'm just kidding. Are you a dues paying member yet? <laughs> Are you a dues paying member yet? I don't think so. Then you can't vote. And, uh, um, yeah, and somehow he still owes us all fucking six thousand dollars. <laughs> you better make a good donation, kid. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and Matt, so okay. Um, I looked at the agenda, the agenda looks good. Uh, I'm gonna make a motion to something like that. That's right. So, uh, um, meeting between now and the <clears throat> Maybe 20th, 21st? 20th or 21st. Uh, let's, should we tentatively put it in as one of the two and by next Wednesday we have to have a uh, defined date and time? Sounds good. Let, let's set it for Saturday. Okay. Um, that way, just in case something pops up and we go, okay. Absolutely. We'll move it a day. So. so we'll set it up for the 20th. Let's just say tentatively at 1. Does that yeah. sound good? Who, who's all involved? Does that, does that work for everybody? Or? Uh, yeah. So, all right. So I would like to... Um, is that a motion? Where are we going to have it also? Let's oh, yeah. uh, just get it all hammered out. All well, us. before we continue on that, I would like to join that meeting and discuss what we're going to do with our candidates and whatnot. Sure. For the upcoming year, so for this year, I mean, so where would be a good place? Do we want to go to our restaurant or just <laughs> hang out at somebody's house, have some know, beer? We can always hang out at my house. It's, I know it's kind of far for some people, but no, if you don't mind, I mean, you're kind of a middle way between me and Todd, and, right? That's what I kind of figured. I know I'm yeah. pretty close to Ben and Nikki, but yeah, if you don't mind, and Catherine just moved, so it's a little bit further for her. <laughs> How are you liking Harrison Township, by the way? Oh, you're in yeah. Harrison now? Yeah. Oh, that's right, yeah. My commute's a lot better. That's the main Where do you work? Um, downtown Detroit. Yeah. Yeah, just jump on 94. Oh, yeah. Taking the whole way down. As long as there's not an accident, you're pretty good. Uh, there's always an accident. There's <laughs> always an accident. 696 is always an accident. Especially, especially this time of year. <laughs> well, it's up to you. You want to do, if it's your place, early, or you want it to turn into a late night? Whiskey party. <laughs> <laughs> I would like it to turn into a like, whiskey party, but let's tentatively plan on early. Well, let's go ahead and nail down the date. Let me work on the time, and then I will. Uh, we can do a vote, and I believe by doing a vote by uh, anything but in person. What does it require? Seventy-five percent. Yeah. Do you know? much. I have a copy of the bylaws anyway. Yeah, I thought it was just majority, but you just have to do it by email. But if it's by email, then uh, majority rule doesn't work. You actually have to have. Here's a copy of the bylaws here. <laughs> That's our local bylaws. I'm going by Robert's rules. Right. All Robert, yeah, Robert's I rules. I don't know Robert's rules well enough yet. Okay. <laughs> so I'm well, I have a copy of the book. Uh, at a, no use. Doing a uh, electronic. It's a quorum oh, with yeah, like 48 hours seven, notice. Seven, seven, yeah. Seven. <clears throat> Nobody knows what that is offhand. I think it's just. A quorum. I got the Robert Rules book out of my car. Majority. I to go get it. There's one actually in that box. There's one. Right. <laughs> is that yours, Matt? <coughs> Robert Rules. No, that's ours. Oh, that's yours. There's a simplified one and the, the big one. I saw the big one in there. Yeah, I actually have the simplified one because I had to run it fast. <laughs> Sir, can I take care of it? Hmm? So, May I box it? Oh yeah, sure. I'm pretty sure electronic beanies. The qualifier is with the 48 hour notice. Right. That I remember. I just can't remember what the uh, actual number of. I think it was just majority. So we'll, I'll just put tentatively an electronic vote on Wednesday. Okay. By Wednesday. I'm sure by I'll Wednesday. be able to present yeah. it by like Friday or Saturday once I talk to Rose about it just to make sure. Talk to my neighbors too if they're not doing anything. Thank you. Out of they actually love you guys. <laughs> Rose and uh, Danielle, yeah, they're pretty cool. my neighbor's uh, fiance. We're so worried that you guys all hated each other. <laughs> and Zach's like, no, it was fun. I love debating people. He's like, I hope I didn't piss them off. I was like, no, not at all. You're fine. <laughs> right? 
No, he loved every second of it. He doesn't get that in real life, you know? Absentee? No, you did piss us off. Now it's time to, you know, get bl- down to a bloody <laughs> style. Right. Um... Oh, cool. That's uh, that's, um, cool. that's that that's um, uh, the candidate support meeting. All right, outreach committee, event organizing calendar. Does anybody like? I know last year Mike, they came out with. Uh, sorry, Todd. I was gonna say Mike wanted to bring this up as well. He brought it up in the LMC chat. And under new business, I'm going to ask if. We should make the LMC chat our official chat right, for, okay. huh? I, I'm sorry. I was just saying yes, we should, but it's not up to me, so go ahead. Um, we should schedule um, some kind of a uh, outreach committee on a particular day. Um, so that everybody can get together and pile together their notes and whatnot, um, and see what we can come up with. Um, any thoughts, suggestions, night remarks? No. Well, I think the big, big thing we really need to put together finally is our calendar, get yes. events, especially being that it's the beginning of the year. If we could, if we could give ourselves some goals. Yeah. Exactly. Like we don't have to go to every event on the calendar, but having a calendar set up with major events going on around Metro Detroit, especially mm-hmm. events that we can probably pull like-minded individuals, those are where we need to be setting up. Like we need to be strategic, but we need to at least oh. know what's going on before we can even start okay. moving forward. And there's probably a lot of members too that we're missing out on that just don't like business meetings. Right. They just they just want to do stuff. They want to go out and get petitions right. signed and talk to people. You know what I mean? So Absolutely. We, right. we could have our second social meeting like we had tried before. I know Mike said uh, is it Mangans or Mangans, uh, oh, Irish yeah, yeah. Hut. Yeah, yeah. Is, 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 right. yeah we, we took a look at it and it looks like a, not inside, it looks like a decent place. I don't know if we went that night, but we yeah. could schedule that. The 27th would be the fourth Saturday of this month. We, we could always start our, combining it too, where uh, our, I our outreach is that. Our outreach committee meeting is followed by our social gathering. Okay. Yeah. And we'll do that. I, I'm so sorry for interrupting. I just realized my anniversary is the 25th, so those will probably want to No, you're fine. Probably just tell her no. Yeah. You do that. <laughs> the, yeah, does Mike need a, a Saturday and Sunday for that one, too? I'm sure for the social media. Yeah, yeah. You know, what we could do is put on the website um, the, uh, the, the, um, those type of events that you have in mind, um, whether it's a, um, you know, like uh, in the Fed or something along the lines or a drug war rally or something uh, like, um, like the uh, DACA rally or right. something, you know. Because Trump is pushing for the border wall, he wants to get rid of that um, that uh, chains. Uh, what is it? That chains um, immigration thing where I don't know. Um, yeah, you get preference by um, relatives. Your immediate family gets higher preference over. Yes. So cousins get second preference, and second cousins get third preference. And they're all up in arms over it because they uh, they think that well, all illegals are here just to go on the welfare doll. I hear yeah, there's well, like two of them that came over, and they were bad dudes. They were bad dudes, oh and God. they're all centering it because of what happened <laughs> to two all. Americans, mm-hmm. which was Kate Steinle. And some other kid, I can't remember his name at the top of my head, but uh, you know what happened happened if, if that illegal immigrant did kill Kate Steinley, he should be serving time in prison just for the crime of murder itself, 
not just because he's here illegally and his ass needs to be shipped back to Mexico. Yeah, um, here, here's an idea. Um, are you free next weekend? Or this weekend coming up? What if, what if we did our political meeting that the, this weekend coming up and then do our uh, outreach committee and, and social gathering sat, that Saturday night? Okay. Let me, uh, I need at least tonight or tomorrow to uh, yeah, yeah. make sure because I'm awful at remembering shit. If, I, <laughs> <laughs> if it's not down in my calendar, odds are it's not on roses. So. Yeah. Otherwise, because yeah, you're busy. Wait, yeah. 27, third, be our next. And that would still be two weeks out from our February meeting. Right. So, that would be fine. Do the outreach committee on February 3rd? You can do that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So, um, uh, do we want to make a motion on that? Yes. Um, Actually, we didn't need a motion. I thought you were the first one. Okay. Yeah, I'll make the motion. So yeah, we'll do, I'll make the motion. We do the, uh, the outreach committee uh, on February 3rd and combine it with the social meeting following it. And Second. Second. Um, third. <laughs> place to uh, be determined. Okay, place to be determined. Probably, uh, what was the bar Mount Clemens again? Manigans. Manigans. And. Um, and there, I guess. Any other comments before I close uh, this motion here? Anything else? Okay. Um, all in favor of adopting the, um, this motion as Matt stipulated, please say aye. 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 Any nays? Ayes have it. Okay, let's get into the reports here. Um, uh, no, because we amended the uh, the agenda. The agenda. I'm sorry. So you're we'll right. Move on to uh, let's do state delegate delegates. Yeah. Delegate, yeah. Counts. delegate um, counts. So upon cursory glance of what Greg sent me, it looks like we have 13 delegates that we have to fill. Um, as of right now, I mean. We only have 10 in this room, plus yeah. Mike, that's 11. <clears throat> if Danny's in there too, that's 12, but who else? That's that's eight four counting everybody in this room. But no, Tim doesn't count. So this is for March? Yeah, I'm, I'll, uh, be, uh, I'll be in Oakland County. Delegate. Right. This is a March convention? Yes. So we have next month to decide our delegates, but we need to make sure that we get this <coughs> off. What are we doing with this convention? This convention is selecting so delegates for national. Yeah, oh, okay. One, and then there will also be our standard pro yeah, platform. Yeah, platform. Yeah, yeah. So it's the tenth of March, which is before our March meeting. Correct. My so understanding. I'm sorry. What was March what? Right. March tenth. Yeah, my understanding is I don't think there's going to be an LPM convention this year, unless oh, there is. We have two. Yep. Two. We'll have one in March and one. Uh, after uh, primary. Right. Yeah, yeah post-primary. Post -primary. Because the national convention is going to be coming up in July, in, July. in right. New Orleans. When do we have to get that yeah. delegate count to We state? want to have it ready by next <laughs> meeting at the latest. Meeting I was hoping we'd be able to figure it out tonight, but looking upon our crowd. Yeah. And yeah, we probably want to have you know some kind of warning. Give, yeah. yeah, we need wow. to be able to send this out. They literally were supposed yeah. to send out this info to the chairs today, so I'm guessing Mike got it, but he's not here. Yeah. So and What I would recommend right now at this point Send out a. Um, I'll do an email a, and a Facebook. An email, an email out to our members, our many members, yeah. like uh, uh, Danny and um, you know. Send it out to anybody who's ever been to a meeting. Like we need. That's to what I do. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean. Yeah, we thanks. just I just saw Oakland send out the call to convention so that we'll have our convention in February so that we can select exactly select delegates. Yeah, so next month is going to be our. <laughs> County convention essentially. Right. Right. Yeah. That's is, yeah. is Greg yeah. still coming to speak at? I know he's been going around to speak at each of the. Oh, about see, that's, that's going to also suck. Fuck. What? It's on Valentine's Day. Yeah. Oh, our next meeting? Yeah. Oh, it is. Our, our county convention? Really? Does this mean we're going to have our elections on at the next. So either meeting? we move it up a week or we. 
be able to be on Valentine's Day, which I'm sure is going to suck for a lot of us. Yeah. I so recommend... We're, we're trying to call as many members I, as possible. I recommend that we move it up a week. So move it to the third? Is it? Or no, the... Uh, so, is that a motion tab? Seven. Yeah. I, uh, I move to... Um, yeah, I move that we move it up a week. Um, any seconds? I'll second it. Okay. Okay. So, with that being said, any eyes? Aye. Aye. Nays? Eyes have it. All right. Um, let's see here. Uh, okay. Um, because uh, now your resolution. My resolution. Adopted right. Adopted All right. Has anybody taken a look at the uh, copy of the resolution oh, yet? Long. Huh? <laughs> too long to read. Too long to read. <laughs> too long to read. We can always amend it. Um, we can cut out some parts if you wish, but overall, I think everybody, from what I'm gathering, people do like the resolution. The law is bullshit, so yeah, no, I agree with the resolution. Four cents. I'll second that. No one All right. All in favor of adopting this resolution as it currently stands, please say aye. 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 Any nays? Oh, you abstain. We got one oh, abstention. It passes anyways. It passes anyways. Take, take ten. No, I have abstained as well. I didn't have time to read it either. All right, well, record that as two abstentions. Um, all right. So, let's get the reports. All right, membership director, Ben, <clears throat> please. Nothing to report. Not really. Nothing to report, <laughs> that's it? That's a, so sorry, I keep forgetting that you can't say it. Doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> now, are you uh, saying... Goddamn, okay, the Trumpsters are still voting for Trump, and um, <laughs> we still don't have any fucking new members. <laughs> There's his report. Um, well, um, wait until November and then we're going to start seeing a bump in the uh, membership. Usually after the presidential election, membership begins to slow down, but that happens at the national level, at the state level, and at the local level, so. Maybe I change for 20, by chance. No, I don't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> development director, Nikki. Um, I don't have a whole lot. I did create a Spreadshirt store that I added to our website that okay. people can visit. You can visit now. It's straight on our website. Um, I'm, so as soon as I get PayPal confirmed, I'm there. We can start taking donations, and I'll. Um, Share that to Facebook and whatnot as soon as it's ready. But right now, you can go to the website and still see the store. Cool. Um, I spoke with Stephanie from Oakland about, I know we had talked about a spring event before. And um, I thought, what if we did a petition drive or something of that nature, like at a, um, we talked about a park or, I've even looked into, um, well, I think a park would be good that time of year. So. Anyway, that's about it. I've just been trying to organize a multi-affiliate meeting. and. Um, okay. Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to be vocal. To... And you sent me a copy of that, that, uh, the template for the uh, newsletter. So, yeah, so I'll take a look at it in great detail. All right, so that brings us to you, John, our communications director. Communicate with us. Talk Please. To <laughs> Talk to me. <laughs> What's going on, John? No, um, honestly, as far as communications go, not too much. Just a lot of people bitching about Matt. 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> aside from that, honestly, not too much going on. I've uh, kind of been wanting to get together with you guys, get the new year kicked off right, so we uh, need to get this calendar together so that I know what events to start really trying to engage, because once we have a plan together, then I'm going to attack it entirely. So, I'm uh, looking forward to our meeting for uh, getting the calendar all organized. I actually meant to ask you too, Nikki, can anybody in the party edit the calendar, or does it have to be... Oh. Yeah, it's just a Google Calendar. I, okay. I think I have it so the public can't edit it, but I can make it so anyone <clears throat> on our mailing list or executive committee can do it. So I'll, I can send you a link to. I'm to I'm access. wondering, it, it, do you have a copy of say Open Office? Because what you could do is make like a um, like a calendar, you know, sheet or something of the upcoming events and see if it's, you know, transferable and, and it'll come out great on the website or something. I think our calendar looks nice. Google is pretty easy to integrate, so. Oh, okay. If somebody else wants to, feel free. I mean, I'm, I use a lot of people have Gmail. So yeah. When you click on it, it goes right into your. Yeah. Yeah. And you got a point there too. So. Um. Okay. So. Dave. There's copies of this. If you want anybody to watch one. I would love one. Okay. So how much money do we have in the budget, Dave? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Not counting I tend to donate more to the party uh, by next month, Dave. Yeah. You'll see a bump there. Okay. People, you got the when did we uh, officially begin our affiliation? March 26th at the LEC meeting. Yeah. Was it March what? 26th, I believe. It March 26th. Okay. I made it an initial and it's been, it's been almost a year. Sure. I made an initial deposit on the 23rd to start the opening account of stuff. Yeah. Michigan State and so in March our dues will technically be up. Well, if you live in the county, you don't have to pay dues. Right? <laughs> you're right. No, you're right. But guys yeah, it's, like, it's like just, Tim, yeah, that's it's a pay dues. Right. Fools from outside. But everybody. But Tim looking. actually, you signed up what? No, I signed up last last month. Or, yeah, I guess it was the last that. meeting, which you paid last. Meeting. And our <laughs> due system is tiered, so. Yeah. Absolutely. I have a bank account and a checking. That's why I put that in there. I can't even keep track of all this. So, so it's a number. That's the end of my report. Okay. Alright, give me a second here. Alright, the vice chair report here. Well, uh, let's see here. I've been um, looking to. Um, write up some articles for uh, the newsletter. It's been very slow, um, but the holidays didn't help. And 
Um, so, anyway, um, but uh, here is the other thing that's been going on. Um, the uh, um, I've been trying to look into other people to speak at our meetings. Um, uh, I was hoping that maybe I could get somebody like, well, if I could try to talk to him to do it, but I was hoping maybe I could get like uh, comic Dave Smith to come here. He's not in Michigan, but it would be cool to help him out. Well, can, you, can you try and get him for like, the convention or something like that? I, mean, it's I like, might, I might be able to do it. It's, 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 it's very after the luncheon. It's very difficult yeah. to get someone to come for a meeting like this, but to come to a Michigan style convention. Yeah, that, would be a whole lot yeah, that would probably be the ultimate goal. If you yeah. Him. Well, I follow him on Twitter, and I've talked oh, to him, so. <laughs> Plus, he's a big, well, he's a big Tom Woods fan, so. Well, I mean, like, I've personally interacted with Jason Stapleton, so. Jason Stapleton, yeah. I used to work with him. I met him at a party once. So, could, could we get him here? Uh, could we get him to the convention or anything? Or, well, anyway. Did you meet him at the party? Oh, yeah, yeah. But uh, that's pretty much about it. Not much. Uh, we're going to be going to um, with the newsletter. Me and and Nikki and Kat will figure out something. We're thinking of going quarterly. So hopefully that will get together and and we'll iron something out. So, um, chair report, uh, Mike's not here, so I can't help with that. Um, Mike had a ton of great ideas on guest suggestions. Yeah. People that are from the area that, you know, is kind of run about history of the lot, like, um. Yeah, I, would, I would suggest asking Mike. George who? George Nori. George Nori. Nice. I, Any idea as to how to get in contact at all or no? No, Mike, um, what the hell was he saying? He ran into him somewhere, there was some backstory. I don't know, you have to ask Mike. He okay. had some good ideas though. I'm going to pressure, um, you told me that you tried to get Bob Butler to come to the meeting. Oh, I'm always, I've always written that guy, like, come on, man, just come to the meeting. He's busy, he teaches. Oh, he's busy, he teaches. He's a movie director. That's the guy's movie I did. So, yeah. All right. So, um, that, that sounds good. Those are some of the suggestions. Uh, any ideas for suggestions for, say, um, you know, just to come to our meeting to talk, or I gave I up on y'all. If I had time to actually think about it, I'm sure I could come up with something awesome. But off the top of my head, I can't think of anybody. I can't think of anybody either. So, but when I do, we could probably do a poll. What's up, the guy? Um, okay, so, um, does anybody want to do, like, uh, an open floor, or do you want to call for a German? Open floor, I'll say some things. Um, Go ahead. So, yeah, so, when I left here, it was a lot more different. Um, I feel like there was a lot of things that had changed since April. And I would like to point that out. It was not as divisive and less hostile as well. From what I have seen online, it, this, this group became a laughing stock within the entire liberty movement. Even getting not direct, but somewhat indirect um, mention on several podcasts as well. Um, 
I had heard it in, what on, uh, yeah. on Tom Woods. It was not a direct, but it was an indirect uh, reference Ooh. on there uh, in a negative format. It was... Macomb County? It, not by name, oh, but you could tell. It was, this, is, this, is, and this is where I'm trying to point out. If you actually want to make a difference in the world, you can't alienate anyone. You can't force anyone in the in the predicament that has been going on for the last. Is that what you tell people when you're fucking pointing a gun at them? I have never pointed a gun at anyone, man. Well, I just want to point out that it's never been divisive been here. Uh, so this meeting well, is pretty much the same as well, when you the left thing, it. The thing I'd like to point out, though, is it's all about how everyone behaves online as well. The anonymity of the internet allows anyone to say anything without repercussion and because of that, and this goes back to what uh, you said earlier. What should the repercussions be for speech okay. that hurts you though? Because that's all that this ever is online is just speech. So what should the repercussions be? It's not, it's not about repercussions or anything. It's how, you just said there's how, no repercussions. It's all about how everyone acts. Well, okay. well, keep in mind that the, the typical, especially online, because that's what we're talking about, like, the typical libertarian crowd is extremely hostile to anything left liberal. They're immediately made fun of, shunned. You know what I mean? So, so this doesn't have to do with this and, and even the policies. <laughs> the policies are alienating. So that's just politics to me. This isn't about ideology. This is about behavior. This has nothing to do with what you believe in. Behavior is ideological. Well, it gives you the right to decide what behavior is okay and what isn't. Because whatever there's, there's more some standards is in better. society. Is That's there? The, yeah. well, there's super are white we trying ones. to change society? <laughs> though, trillion dollars worth of standards. Or are we trying to go with the waves of society and we just like it? I mean, I guess since I don't listen to these podcasts, like what were, <laughs> not, I guess not by name, but what, was, what were they saying? It was, it was just basically discussing about how, how detrimental to the entire movement it is. Like, oh, really? It's not Trump. Trump. It's not the fact that you're not going to... Well, Trump has nothing to do with what happens here. Trump doesn't affect the Libertarian Party except yeah. for the fact that there's some... So what's our strategy going to be? Idiots that think... It's not, about, it's not just about strategy. It's just about how <laughs> we conduct everything. How everybody individually acts, acts in accordance with how everybody interacts acts elsewhere. In, what the hell are you talking I'm about? To, to me, I, the party I, is about individualism, right? We're, we're about standing up for the, the minority. And, and why all the speech. collective statements? I mean, the, 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 going back to uh, freedom ninjas are not real libertarians. I mean, <laughs> that was... I mean, <laughs> oh, because it turns out they weren't. <laughs> There, Holy how, shit! How can you make a collective statement like that when there's a whole spectrum of freedom ninjas that supported Austin Peterson, and now they and now they were forced to decide. In many cases, they were forced to decide whether they're going to stay. It's my team. fault that freedom ninjas are not real. Well, no, I'm trying. Let me butt in here. I'm saying you keep talking about. Keep talking about, keep talking about I call for adjournment. You keep talking about libertarianism being in for. For yeah. the, about the individual, but then you make collective second. statements like yeah, that. Second. The, the that, idea, attack, that attack. The idea of the liberty movement isn't all about party and partisan attitudes. It is about the idea that individualism and freedom exist. It, you can have any type of ideology with right, you there's, choose to, but the thing is, there's 200 million people telling you it does not currently exist for them. You keep telling them they're not trying We're right not now. talking about that. They're right not now, acting though. in accordance enough. We're talking about how a, a group party for this county, Macomb County is the epicenter of American politics right now because it is what changed the entire state of Michigan from a solid blue state to a uh, Republican-led state in the first right. time in o almost 30 years. Okay. That is a okay. critical aspect of American Macomb, politics. Macomb County is this, the epicenter and we should be doing more with that yes. than and, and this, this random, is what, like, no one knows about, I'm sorry, I've never, I'm in the liberty movement and I've never heard of these people. Like, this is not like the issues we should be focusing on. I don't care if- don't We've know, saturated the white nationalist movement. There's no more of them to get. There are millions and millions and millions of people out there that are crying for help. And we keep talking about how goddamn we're gonna act in accordance and uh, I'm sick of it. We're done. That, what? Well, it's a it's well, a political party, right? So so what we're well, doing is we're trying to be the voice for people, and and here I am, I'm I'm speaking my views, and yeah, they're radical, but that's who I am, and I'm in this group, and I'm in this county, and I okay, I, I let me people that that think like me. So 
So I don't I don't care if it's against the platform or ideology. This is this is my my views, and I have a right to hold them. But that's not what I'm and, saying. Um, it's not nobody <laughs> nobody disputes that you have the right to hold your views, and nobody yeah. in this particular group very has specific. gone out of their way to. Yeah. To censure you, right? No. And and I, I make that so, clear all the time. Like so the only reason I'm in the party is this. Group. Then I don't want to hear any goddamn bitching about how he's stopped any of your efforts to gain new members. I'm not saying that by any means. But, but, but we're, no, you're talking about any. He's preventing new members from joining because it's not in accordance. We need to try harder. What the well, fuck actually, are you talking actually, about, man? Actually, Where's your actually, goddamn actually, members? Actually, I can respect his 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 stance of going. And, and reaching a, an unreached audience that to, liber, to the libertarian ideas. I, you know, as much as I disagree with some of his platform, I don't really care about the platform. I don't mind that. It's the, it's the, it's the Fundamentals. approach, it's the, pro, it's the inclusive approach as opposed to the divisive approach that I, I take objection to. The I divisive am, approach that, that, the, 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 dice, the divisive approach that singled me, out, me and him out when, it's not when, about kicking anyone out. It's not about being divisive or anything. All it is is saying, if you really want the change to happen, you can't simply attack anyone you disagree with vehemently. You don't realize you, that you're preventing people from speaking at all. And you, you don't realize... No. Like, no. Like, you don't realize... Not, okay. okay. Like, I, I've like, gotten the person... Guys, I've one gotten, person makes a statement document. and 400 goddamn ninjas come out. Oh my god, my feelings were hurt. I know a veteran. Bullshit! You guys non-stop troll people. So amazingly disingenuous, it is There's sickening. More collective bullshit right there. More well, collective bullshit. I can we we all have individuals in that Yeah, well, when it happens and there's like 40 of them in every goddamn comment section of every goddamn discussion, maybe it's a fucking problem. Maybe it's a pain in the ass. Whatever. Well, there's, there's differences of the Austin Peterson, yay! Not about it's it's so hypocritical to talk about voluntary associations though, and then you guys say that we have to act this way or that way. That's exactly I said. We should. I don't want to. I I know how I want change to happen. It doesn't happen by being nice or killing people with kindness. Not always. A lot of people don't get it that way. Where did I say being nice? And like, all right, you guys only see your your side here, right? Well, here's the here's the deal. Okay. My side is vastly no, outnumbered, right? Vastly outnumbered. Every side is vastly in, outnumbered. In, I, I want to say that. In, in the Libertarian in the Party, my views are vastly outnumbered, right? And and people who hold my views view the LP All right. And they wanted nothing to do with the word. Okay, they that's it. Well, let's, let's finish no, this out. No. This is what needs to so, be, this yeah. needs to be so, out. So, so now, through, through the... Well, what on my to... side is seeing as excitement. Uh, they're they're seeing, you know, you feathers being ruffled and they it's exciting in them and now Thank they're actually you. starting to call themselves libertarians, be it socialist, communist, whatever. They're call, they're using the word again. They're they're taking interest in me and what I'm doing and some of the policies that I'm advocating for, which you know, some of them are coming from the Bernie side and I'm pulling them down. I'm going, look look at these stateless solutions that we could be doing. You know what I mean? So <laughs> It's, it's bridging a gap, and I know it's not easy, and I know it, uh, at times I'm divisive and I attack people, but it's to gain that camaraderie that just isn't there, and I'm carving that space, and I'm doing it aggressively. I get that, but uh, that's politics to, to a degree, you know? And it's a divisive time now. Yeah, and, and I mean, hopefully, and uh, hopefully <laughs> I mean, my, my real hope is that Come 2020, we've worked out all these kinks. We've got all these new members. We've been working together locally, hopefully. And that's where we build these relationships. And come 2020, I mean, can you imagine the Occupy with the Tea Party coming together on a candidate? That That, that is the recipe for winning to I, me, I, I think. I think. I think you're thinking that like six or seven years in the past, those names have changed. <laughs> well, I get it. I get it. They've all splintered and they've gone different <laughs> ways. So in 2001, I, I get it. But the same exactly. The same, same idea. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Same and they're called different and they're in different. Well, exactly. They, and you know what? The, the people are still interested in politics. You, I'm riding away. You know? But would you accept that if you saw that the left was actually embracing the right? Because you, you've said yourself that the party is already too heavy right. And and it's almost well, like you. It almost like you prefer to to okay. not have them and, and have have the left leaning libertarians instead. 
Oh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I would love my ideology to be the dominant one. That'd be great, you know. And then if I chase some people away and, and that happens, kind of cool. But that's not really the goal. The, the, really, the goal is hopefully nobody else leaves. Hopefully, this competition keeps us going, keeps us interested. It's it's the off years. I mean, it's surprising people are even paying it's attention to us. Year now. It's it's now an active year. This and is, even, if anything, this should be. The Libertarian Party year. They say that the all thing. the time, but this no, is, this but is they, a myth. But you want to know something? You want to know something? Let me butt in here for a second. Here, let me butt in here for a second. The Libertarian Party basically screwed up in 2016 with Gary Johnson and Bill Weld going on about you know with Bill Weld going on about how great Hillary Clinton was. And how great and how evil um, Trump was, and the reality is that both sides are just terrible. Okay, you know they should have been pumping themselves, trying to be the alternative. You know when I see somebody like Austin Peterson, because I I've, I've I've heard him explain why he rejects the nap. Okay, he talked to Dave Rubin on the Dave Rubin Show. You guys can see this on YouTube. I see his explanation for that. I don't agree with it, but I understand his position. You know, um, people, are, people are basically behaving, you know, and there is, a, there is a point to be made what you're saying, Mike. People are behaving... Um, um, very childishly and um, and God forbid if I should ever mention it um, very immaturely about this whole thing um, with regards to poly party politics. Party politics can be very divisive. It's happened to political parties for years. It happens in the Republican Party. Yeah. There's splintering in the Republican Party already. There are Republicans who can't stand Trump. And that's a good thing. They let, let them shatter themselves. But the main point of it was why... And how and they're behaving just as badly as the Democrats are. Because the Democrats don't have the, you know, it's all about identity politics for the Democrats. It's also about identity politics for the Republicans. We can't make identity politics as if it's our saving grace, as if it's our savior. We can't go around labeling every single person as evil because of how they feel. People have a right to feel how they feel. And, you know, that's just the reality of it. You know. And it also comes down to it is how can how can anyone even most people in the country still don't know anything about the Libertarian Party or the idea of libertarianism in general. They may be libertarians, like Gary Johnson said. You could have a quarter to a third or even half of people may be secret libertarians. They have no idea though, because one, Libertarian Party does nothing good in advertising itself. It is the worst, if ironically, having a salesman as the, its chairperson doesn't lead to a good sales position at all. And two, if they have a bad first impression, if they have someone screaming at them or if they have someone insulting them in the first place, that it's not about being nice, it's just about being presentable. I wouldn't care if somebody yelled at me, but if they don't speak out against racism, if they're basically just the same as either one of the old two parties, then I'm... Both sides are racist. This is why I found out about libertarianism when I was 19 as a former Democrat and I was politically homeless. I didn't join up then because I thought they were all a bunch of conservatives in the state. And I eventually went to Rand Paul and then wanted less and less and less government after that. And Rand Paul My brought it out. was a little bit different than what someone who grew up in a conservative household looked at. Because me and uh -huh. a lot of my old liberal friends, they're starting to come around to libertarianism now. Now that there's more communication and they can see the more left side of it and it's not just right leaning. I think, I feel like there are more people open to it now. So I think it's just a matter of perspective. In, in, in 2016, they got 3%, and that was over twice what 
twice three as much times. as it, three, three times, times as three much times as there's ever been. Mm -hmm. And it's, in the history it's of the party, movement, but it's not. It's not going. It's not real. I don't but, really ever think that it's going to be a a movement that's actually going to go but, in the country. But here, here it's a move. It's a movement with ideas. It's a. Yeah. It's a. This it's is a, It's ideas that we're working with. This is what I can and, tell you. Uh, I'm sorry. And and uh, the economic ideas of of the you know of the left don't work and. And the racism of uh, of the right on either right. side. On either side, there's racism uh, everywhere. There's it's, that's it's what not, I just said a few minutes yeah, ago. No, now, 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 here's why I just want to point out though: don't focus on the ideology in this one aspect. All right, focus only on the ideas of stri uh, strategy, or you want to go the Bush route, strategery. Um, <laughs> got the reference? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, so. <clears throat> We look at 2016, we'll go in the presidential election just one more time. 3% out of when polling was going on, it was above 10%. The fact was, it was 13 at one point. There was the possibility of talking about him being in the, in the debates and stuff like that. We're, you know, you're talking about a, it was the, it was along with the two main parties, it was the only one that was on the ticket in all 50 states, and it was um, two former governors who were moderates who, had the experience, who had the uh, at least some namesake, they should have easily broken five percent. They should have been close to meeting what uh, Perot got in '92. There's two reasons why they, and, that they screwed up. Well, uh, I was going to get that. Um, oh, sorry, sorry. I, was, I just wanted to point out. But the aside from all of that, mm -hmm. the main factor that did happen not only was that it didn't benefit anyone in the presidential aspect. It didn't really benefit anyone across the across the country. What uh, the irony in the state of Michigan was that they were trying to um, Republicans were trying to get rid of straight party ticket voting, and Democrats said that was unfair to African American voters for some weird reason, and uh, they were blaming racism on that too. Ironically, Republicans benefited most from the straight party ticket voting in this state, but. There, even if straight party would have benefited any libertarians, it didn't because there was no focus on down ballot things across the country. Because it, regardless, the presidential contest unfortunately was never going to win in the libertarians' favor, but it could have benefited down ballot situations. And that is the focus of this upcoming election and 2020 is to focus on down ballot situations. And frankly, I think it's literally a states form um, party movement now. It's there's no there is no more national libertarian party to really focus on. It is certain states that will see good results, but most other ones will not. That is an unfortunate state of the liberty movement nowadays. It is so shattered and it is so disorganized that. The only ones that have, are really going to succeed are the ones that have the best organized state parties. Right. And you'll see it in places like Washington, you'll see it in places like Tennessee, and you'll see it in, uh, with what Larry Sharp is doing in New York. All right. Ben made a motion to adjourn. Uh, um, can you second it? Yes. I think, right? Second it. And um, any ayes? Aye. 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 Okay. Any nays? Okay. Meeting adjourned.